Hello everybody, it's Mike Levin on Friday, December 12th, beginning my Code with Mike Friday, and I have a new workflow that I thought I'd share with you. The way I organize my thoughts on a daily basis and really organize my, my mind and my work is now through, uh, and for really many years has been through, a text file journal. And I happened to have put that text file journal on Git, or GitHub in particular. So let me go into GitHub to get the uh, URL to uh, clone it with. And uh, I just go into my, whoops, my GitHub link. And this particular project is mclevin.github.io. And by the way, what it looks like is if you Google on Mike Levin SEO, you'll see, oh, here is MikeLevinSEO.com, Journal of a NYC SEO expert, blah, 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 blah. You drill down. It's hosted on Mike Levin SEO, which used to be uh, my Raspberry Pi here by the side of my desk, but I decided to use that domain for my daily work journal, and there you see it. And if I were to view source on it, despite the fact that it's got all this kind of formatting and stuff going on, let's see, view page source, you would see that this is mostly just a markdown file. It's a markdown file that, at the very bottom, has this include to strapdown.js. And that's what takes this file and formats it to look like this. And I will drop that onto another screen. Go back to GitHub, get the address to clone it to. Go over here and go git clone. Well, first let me see where I am. I can do a PWD. Okay, let's see. Do I have too much garbage in there? No, that's a pretty clean place to do it. And I don't have this folder in there yet, so it's a really good way to do it. Clear git clone that address. And I don't even need to give it a uh, directory name or anything. It'll use the project name as the default directory name. And now I can cd into that directory, ls, and vim index.html. Now, my favorite part, I hit the at key and the j key. Oh, I don't have the macro installed here on my local machine. That's a local thing. So, let's get the macro installed. I hit Shift G to jump to the bottom of my journal where I know I keep my .vimrc file right here. Now one thing that is not entirely clear is that these control M's and control escapes here are typed in so that they look nice in uh, Vim and I'm gonna have to uh, change those. And that's what I guess this video will be about. We'll do shift V, scroll down to the end of this and yank it. And now I'm going to do colon tab E. Maybe I'll uh, make this a little shorter so that the revealing of my keyboard shortcuts is uh, a little easier to see when I edit this. Tab E tilde slash for home dot vimrc. And now I want to just uh, paste. Let's see, syntax on is a top line, so I just hit P for paste. And get rid of that top line because it pasted beneath where my cursor was. And all these indents are unnecessary, so I'm going to do shift V, arrow key down to the bottom. And see, smart indent was the last line that was already in there, so I'm going to outdent it and then hit dot for again, 
uh, shift G to jump to the bottom of the file, shift V on all the lines I don't need, D for delete, escape colon W, it's now written. I now have my new vimrc here, but this isn't exactly going to work as planned. I need to replace this X with a J, I mean with a G, beginning of journal. Now see that control M, I'm going to yank this line and paste it. Now I'm going to replace these control these caret M's with the characters that really should be there and you'll see the real macro going in as I replace the one that I had for display only in my journal. I do control V control, and then control enter. Nope, did that a little bit wrong. I gotta go into insert mode first. Go into I for insert mode, control V, control M. There it is. Control V, control Oh, no, escape. Yeah, and inserted a control. Yeah, okay, so now I need insert mode. Oh, now uh, a bunch of these uh, enters. So that is, I'm in insert mode already. Control V, control M, control V, control M. See that? And uh, I'm up to the last one. Now I can escape to get out of insert mode, hit X to just get back to where this is. Oh, see that one there? That is an escape key. So I'm going to backspace over it. And I'm in insert mode like I care to be. Now I do control V, escape. Ah, got it right. Love it when I get it right. There's another one. Control V, escape. And this is how you type macros for Vim uh, in VimRC files to record macros so that you'll always have them available. There's a payoff, and you'll, you're about to see it. Control V, Control M. Did I get them all? Almost. Control V, Escape. Control V, Control M. Yay! Now. I can get rid of this upper one after I look to make sure that I got all the control characters, the ones preceded by carrots, and I did. Escape, colon, right, quit. Now, uh, I'm still in the journal, but my macro isn't going to be available until I quit and then go back in. Now I'm ready to make a new journal entry for today. I usually try and do this before like 9.30 a.m. every day I get into the office at Flying Point here at home because I was doing some research. It's already 11.30, but anyway, at key J, ha ha, I start my new journal entry. And this is the first one where there's a crossover between my type in journal published on mike11seo.com using github.io and my YouTube code with Mike Fridays. This is a milestone because now you see the two places I do my daily thinking. Daily thinking is important because it helps you be thoughtful about your work. Save it and uh, Command T for a new tab and uh, LS. Oh, great! It puts me in the right directory when I do that. Git commit showed everyone my daily journal. Git push. Oh, let me do a before and after. Here is the. Uh, my daily journal as it is now from December 11th. That was my last entry where I talked about remark.js, a remarkable 
JavaScript include for making slideshows. Maybe I'll do that as a different video. And I go back here, get push. Up, oh, I gotta still do my, uh, my keys here. I pause, pause, hit enter. Bam, I just did a push. Go back over here. Now, remember, this is on um, MikeLevinSEO.com. So this is a custom domain. I do a refresh, and there it is, my new entry. And I'd like a little headline there uh, so that people who glance can see what uh, is really going on. So that's Markdown. I go here, and I just put triple hash marks for a, a subhead, and I go uh, made a video of me making this journal entry. Circular much, I won't write that. Save. I'll just use the same comment, push it. And after you push it, it's actually almost instantaneous. I said almost instantaneous. Let's see how many refreshes. Okay, there you go. Voila. This is using a markdown in a repository in GitHub to publish something that looks like this when you view source to come like this. And they have lots of styles you can choose from. I chose one of the most plain. And uh, you work on it looking a lot like this. And uh, that's it. So anyway, um, I'll probably, you'll be, probably be seeing a lot of this in my videos as, my do, as I do my thought work for the days from now on. And I uh, thought I'd uh, show you that. Thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon. And don't forget to subscribe.